Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything. Today is another Makeup Monday. Today we'll be doing a look with the mini Controversy palette. You know, instead of one look, I think I'm going to do three or four and put it in this video. I'm not sure. This is the first one, so we'll see how many I do. There are nine shades in this palette. This retails for $28. There are six mattes in this palette, and there are three shimmer shades. I didn't realize when watching the series that this blue was a shimmer. It's very metallic-y. It's a very pretty shade. I am wearing that one today. The color story of this palette was a little odd to me, but I was going to get the palette regardless. But I have done a couple of looks since I have received it and everything that I've done so far I've really really loved and it's actually a great little palette because you can do a neutral, you can do something purple, something blue, and something outside the box which I feel like anything with Jeffree Star Cosmetics is made for. So let's get into the first look. So with the, all the looks in this video, I will be priming my eyes with ColourPop's No Filter Primer. I will be using the color Fair, which is a white. I like to use the white because it makes the colors pop to their most vibrant pigment. I really love using these e.l.f. blending brushes because the bristles are so compact that it's great for packing color, which is what I love doing. The first color I'm going to go in with is the purple color called Controversy. And I'm going to start packing that color in on the first half of my eye, starting with the inner corner and coming up about halfway. And I like to pack my color and then blend it out. Again, this is to get the most pigment of the color. Then I do those small circles on the top to kind of blend the color out so I don't have that harsh line. Now we're going to go into the light blue called Cancelled and we're going to start packing that right next to the purple and at this point I decided I wanted a nice crisp edge so I'm getting some washi tape and I'm just going to line that up with the bottom of my eye and the bottom of my eyebrow and then I'll make that nice crisp line. So again I will just start packing that blue and then I will blend that edge on top to make sure it's nice and blended and it's not harsh and then I'll blend the purple and the blue in the middle so that it kind of looks like one new color in between the two. Taking a Morphe M507 brush I'm going to pick up the shade Flat Earth and we're going to place that on cancelled right on that edge so that we can make that look nice and blended to the gods. Then with that same brush we're going to pick up exposed and do the same thing on the purple. I'm just grabbing a Morphe M421 which is just a nice flat brush. I'm going to pick up some of my concealer that I have on the back of my hand. And I'm going to cut my crease. I start out by putting some of that primer down in the lid of my eye and then I just kind of have to move my head and my eye around. I'm weird, I'm sorry. And I can see where that transfer is. I want to go a smidge higher than that. And I do that by pressing the brush because it's round it makes that nice curve. And then I just follow that down into my lower lash and then I will just fill in the gap And then to get rid of this harsh line, I will just take my finger and kind of blend that in. We will go back and fix that, but that'll help. Next, I'm taking in Morphe M167, and I will be taking some setting spray. Anytime I use metallics, I will be doing this. I'm going to spray the brush with that, and then we're going to go ahead and pick up the simulation. And we are just going to place that color kind of on an angle on the outer edge of where we cut that crease. 
And don't worry if some of it comes off the brush as you're going towards the eye. Let it have that faded look. It's totally fine and works with this look. Next, we're going to pick up my boyfriend's purse and put that in the front part of the lid all the way over to the blue. And just place it all over the lid and make sure you kind of go over the blue to just get a nice blend between the two colors so that they meet and they're happy. And kind of smush it. Just smush it all in there. You want them to be happy and not angry neighbors. You want them to get along. And then at this point I'm going to remove the tape and you just have that nice bold line. Let's get my face makeup on. For my waterline and my lower lash line, I put that purple color in there. I know everyone's not a fan of putting eyeshadow in their waterline. I'm okay with it. It does not bother me. So if it does bother you, just get like a purple liner or even a blue would look nice. If it doesn't bother you, just pack that onto your waterline. I put a whip. I put a NYX white liner down first just to make sure that the color popped. And then just to make sure that the purple was blended nice and there was no harsh lines, I took some exposed and went right under that line just to clean it up nicely. And then if you have the Conspiracy palette and you want a nice inner corner highlight, I highly suggest using Ranch. It's a beautiful color. Great for inner corner highlights. And here is the finished look. Let me know your thoughts. I really, really like this one. I think this is probably one of my favorites from the mini Controversy palette. All right, for look number two, we're going to start with Controversy. And we're going to apply that in our crease. And I go a little above because that bone on the end is kind of high. So I want to make sure the color is seen when my eye is open. So I'm just going to pack that in and then I will blend it out so we don't have that harsh line. Next, with a flat brush that I set sprayed with setting spray, I'm going to pick up my Apology, which is this maroon purpley metallic. And we're going to place that in the inner corner and on the outer corner and try to make like a halo effect, meaning we're going to leave the center of our lid blank because we're going to add a different color there. Now don't worry that this is a metallic and it's not going to blend. These actually blend really well once you pack on the color. Be sure to connect the two sides also right in the top middle in that crease. And then just take a blending brush. I just use the same one as I put the purple down with and just blend out that upper part that's kind of in your crease so that it doesn't look messy and that it gets blended. And I hold the brush towards the end so that it's loose, so I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I've got that bone there, so I just kind of kind of fix that color. Next, I'm going to pick up Exposed on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to buff out that purple up there so that I don't have that weird edge. Just to make sure that center is nice and clear for another color, I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer. And then with a flat round brush, I'm just going to kind of make that shape a little more. And then I'm going to grab my boyfriend's purse and place that where we put the concealer. And then if you need to, just go back in with the previous colors and just make sure everything is blended and looks nice and melded together. And for the waterline and the lower lash line, I went into my Controversy and I placed that in both. Again, if that's not something that you like, just use a colored pencil and then just buff that out and make sure it looks nice and clean. And then you'll go into Exposed and then just buff that out again and make sure you go all the way out to that outer edge so that everything is connected and looks nice and clean. Then just add a liner and lashes and mascara and you should be good to go. There is the finished look with a wing liner and some lashes. What do you guys think of this look? Uh, if you do have the Conspiracy palette, you can jump into that as well for this look, picking up some of the nice white shimmer shade called Ranch can really upscale this look.
You can place some right in the middle of that halo just to give it a little extra shine. Don't go too crazy. And then right in the inner corner. Oof! That color though. And if that inner corner is just a little too much, just take like your pinky or a clean brush and just buff it out with your finger. All right, here we go at look number three. I'm going to take some canceled. And sorry about the lighting in this one. I forgot to grab my ring light out of the other side of the house. As always, where you're going to pack and blend. I'm going to put this in the entire crease. Next, you want to pick up some flat earth. And you're just going to buff out that upper edge with that. Don't be afraid to use the entire space between your eyebrows and your upper lash line. This can really make a look go from wow to oh my god, that's amazing. Taking a flat brush that I set with some setting spray, I'm picking up my Apology. I'm going to place that right on the outer edge. Just stamp it if you need to and then buff after that just to make sure you get it in there. Taking that same brush and just flipping it over to the other side and picking up the Simulation, which is that blue metallic. And we're going to place that right next to my Apology and kind of blend it in and put that over most of the rest of the lid. I'm going to go back into Cancelled. And I did want to note there was some fallout. I'm not really worried about that. That doesn't bother me. But if it does you, I just wanted to point that out. So I'm going to use that to buff out the colors and fix the outer edge there just to make sure everything looks nice and blended. So I've placed Controversy in my waterline and my lower lash line. Just kind of buffing that out with Cancelled. Again, sorry for the lighting issue here. Now I'm going to pick up some of my boyfriend's purse. I'm going to use that for inner corner highlight and just under my brow bone to just make the whole thing pop. Alright, I threw on a wing liner and some lashes. I really like how this look turned out. If you want to see more looks with a mini controversy, leave me a comment down below. Tell me which look was your favorite. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit the bell so you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. Alright guys, until next Monday. Bye!